This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we have a really easy repair for a front load washing machine that is not spinning. So when we set this one to spin and we start it, we can hear the drain motor is active, but we don't see any turning or the turning of the um, spin basket is just really slow back and forth. So we're going to unplug it or turn off the breaker and now to repair it, we're just going to be replacing the lid lock. So we're going to use a standard head screwdriver to pry off this spring-loaded ring that is holding on the front of the door boot. And you just got to pry back a few inches and then you can get the ring off. And then you want to just peel back the boot where it connects to the front panel. It's pretty easy to do. And then to get the door lock off you just remove these two Phillips head screws and then you can just reach in behind and grab the whole door lock and pull it out towards you and there's three modular wire connectors we want to remove one is this black one here at the top you just pinch it and then pull it away from the lid lock and there's the gray one in the middle same thing pinch it pull it away and then there's this light blue one here at the bottom that attaches to this white module which is the wax motor and just grab this one and pull it away and that's it here's the new one with the new part number and you'll notice that the wax motor is now kind of an orangey red that's the new type which is more robust and will last longer if you have one that's the uh, white one that's pretty old and it's just worn out so we're going to reconnect these modular connectors. We have the light blue one, we have the light gray, and then the black one. And just make sure these are pushed all the way in where you're certain that they can't go in any further. They only go in one way. So if it isn't going in, just try flipping it around. Get them really tight. And you're pretty much done. Next thing is we're just going to Put the lid lock back into position. We're going to push push the black part of it through the cabinet. You can see it stick out there. And then we're going to put in the two Phillips head screws to secure it. I usually hold it from behind, put in the screw. It'll cut its own threads into the new plastic. So you have, it's a little bit harder to put the screw in on installation. And we're just going to get the boot back over that ridge you got to make sure that the boot sits really flat, that there's no parts that are sticking out, because otherwise the door won't close far enough for the door lock to engage. So just take your time here and make sure that this rubber boot is all the way back on the front panel. And we would put the ring back on. I'm leaving the ring off just for a second because I want to test it. So I'm going to close the door and I'm going to do a, a start a regular wash. So I'm going to go to normal and press start and it'll fill with water and then it should start to agitate. I just want to test that first up. And other things that could cause a no spin would be if there's water still trapped inside the washing machine, then you would need to correct a drain issue. This is the old lid lock. I'm going to take it apart and just show you how this wax motor works. You can get these wax motors for probably 15 bucks on Amazon. And if you buy the, the lid lock, you're probably looking at between 60 to to $100. And the lid lock actually works, or the door lock actually looks, works fine. It's just the little wax motor that's worn out. The wax degrades over time. So you could just replace this thing. If you buy a couple of wax motors or an Amazon, you can just pop one in when they wear out. They usually last about maybe five years. So it looks like it's doing the agitation and fill really good. So I'm gonna stop that, set it for spin, and I'll start it up. And it should just progressively, as it drains, it should progressively go faster and faster that would indicate that the, lid, the door lock is working again, that the wax motor is doing its job. So you can kind of wiggle the wax motor out of the 
door lock. It's not connected by any screws, it just wiggles out. Here's a new one that's shown on Amazon with the part number. This one's only $11.30. And if you had a new one, you could just pop it in. Here's just an example of how this little piston works. The wax gets hot from a heater inside. It expands and pushes the piston uh, forward away from the wax motor. And what that does is it engages a lock and it also closes a switch and tells the brains of the washer that it's okay to go to high speed spin. If that doesn't happen, it won't go to spin. Here's the little copper terminal here that closes that allows the power to go to the motor for spin. And that only happens if that piston can move far enough and that only happens if you have a wax motor that's working if the wax is not too degraded. So now we got full speed spin. It's looking great. So a very easy way to solve this problem and this is this kind of a door lock is common on a lot of front load washing machines. Not all of them for sure but many different brands use this one. So I'm putting in this wax motor just to show you how to install a new one. And then you just close the cabinet or the uh, other half of the assembly and just push down hard to lock it. And then you could install that old lid lock or door lock with the new wax motor. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe when you get a chance.